Hey family, since I was showing you some mounted uh, orchid or mounted catacetums earlier, I figured I'd share with you the total mounted catacetums that I have. I have a bunch here. Um, some are doing better than others. Uh, this one still hasn't woken up. It still has a pseudobulb that's still kind of eh. Um, some of them are entangled. Let me see if I can untangle them. Oh god. Witchcraft didn't do that well this year. Um, something ate it too. It's probably the deer. The de oh, I was so mad. Look what the deer did. <laughs> Damn deer. They didn't like it, obviously. Otherwise, they would have chomped everything else down. But uh, some of them are just starting to break dormancy. Like I said, some of them were divisions I did make. This one is uh, three back bulbs that fell apart, so I mounted them all on the same thing. Um, I'm guessing this has a name. It's from SVO. Um, but it's that cross. And it's doing really well. Some of them are a little more established. This one's pushing off three total. That one just got one. Oh, look how cute. Up there. See, that's catacetum bulbs. If you have an issue with them, if you cut them and you don't have roots, they can have dormant eyes, like Cattleya or Dendrobium, and produce, I wouldn't call this a cakey, but maybe you would. Um, some other ones that are doing great is this one right here. I love this one. It's got big, fat, fat roots. Look at those fat roots. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I can't wait to... Um, I think next year I'm going to try to hang them places, but we'll see. Here it is. Some of the other ones, the bigger ones that I have. So this is the uh, oh, this little ant. This one's the After Dark, the Black Pearl. And this one I broke apart because some of the bulbs were older. so. I wanted to separate the newer bulbs from the old ones while mounting because, as you can see, these ones died off. This one pushed off a growth right there instead of at the base like normal. But this one's going crazy. I love it so much and it's starting to get fat, fat little pseudobulb. And then this one, I think it's called the MC2. I lost the tag, I have it somewhere though. Uh, this one pushed off two new growths, just like last year. This one and this one were the newest growth, and um, I've been trying to keep them well watered and hydrated, but they are doing absolutely stunning. So um, if you ask me, I think mounting catacetums is great. I live in Ohio, and they've adapted really well. I think they'll do better next year, because part of the problem that I think with catacetums I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do, but you cut off all the roots, and they're not always dead, so you're really setting the plant back, I feel. I personally feel. Um, so leaving it like this, be doing let it do its own thing, leaving it like this for a couple years while the moss breaks down, eventually you'll have to um, remount it or do whatever, but usually it'll probably build itself up. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Like I said, it's kind of an experiment, but everything's been doing pretty well. This one has a nice little fat root right there, and it's doing doing pretty well. Uh, well so we'll see. I just want to show you some more. Oh no! <laughs> And part of it, I think, is the roots are going crazy, like, sitting there underneath everything. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Some bug damage, but that's to be had. Okay, well, I hope this was inspirational for anybody trying to do mounted stuff. Um, I know I love mounted things. Here's another fat root. Let's lift these guys up since that one's dead. Wow. Totally loving it. Um, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you so much, family. Bye.